Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Davy Killian and in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I am showing you what is in my hospital bag. And yes, it is quite practical. I did not go out and buy a ton of new items to go give birth in. I am just using a suitcase I already had, clothes I already had, thrifted items, and hand-me-downs, things like that. So if you like those type of videos where it is more practical and it's hand-me-down, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new, I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs and homemaking, and of course, baby videos now. And I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. I am currently, well, coming up on 39 weeks pregnant uh, this coming Monday, so my bag is quite packed already, just in case, you never know. I want to make sure I am prepared. I am in my bedroom, don't normally film in be my bedroom, but most of our stuff is in the bedroom, so I thought it would be just a lot more convenient and easier. But I'm going to jump right in and share with you what I am packing, and of course, I probably forgot something and some things are on our last minute list that I've typed up already. All right, so I'm just gonna sit on my bed here and pull things out as I go. So some of the first things I wanted are some washcloths. I have three here, and I also do have towels packed in a different bag. I just have heard that hospital washcloths and towels are not the nicest or the biggest, so I have um, a towel for dirty towel and a clean towel for myself. Right, for giving birth or when I'm in labor, I just brought a pair of shorts. Um, I want to be comfortable and I like wearing athletic shorts and that is what I'm going to wear when I am laboring. I am doing a water birth at my hospital. That's the plan at least anyways. So um, I'll be wearing that and then if I can pull it out here. Um, this was just from Kohl's. I had it before I was pregnant. It's $4. Um, I don't care if it gets ruined when I'm giving birth in the water. Very comfortable. Uh, it was, yeah, just $4 from Kohl's. And I had already had that, like I said. It's just a uh, um, bralette type. So that will be perfect to give birth in. I also, if I need, have a tank top that I could roll up as well. This is a nursing tank, so those are ideal to take with you to the hospital as well. This was a hand-me-down for my sister, so I will make sure to have this one. I don't want to be or don't plan on being in the hospital for a super long time after baby is born. It'd be nice to be able to spend some time with a little girl and then um, just maybe several hours later be able to go home. So that is hopefully the plan. That's why I don't have a lot of outfit stuff packed. Um, I did pack a couple pair of dark underwear. I did not go buy new underwear because I've heard you have to wear adult diapers anyways with um, all the stuff that comes out at the end. So I know the hospital has those. I also will be getting some of those. Yes, so that is spending some money. Um, but. I think those are necessary, so I'm going to have those. So the underwear I already had on hand, they're just dark ones, and I need to get new underwear, my husband says, <laughs> anyways. Um, for when I am, if I am going to be walking around or after birth, I just brought a thrifted sweater. This is a Aeropostale. I've had it for years and years, so I really don't care. I know hospitals are chilly sometimes, so I just have that to wear. Um, I also have a thrifted t-shirt uh, that's good for nursing because it's a v-neck for after birth to wear in the hospital and especially when we have visitors. So that was a dollar at a thrift store that I got a while ago. I did bring a nursing bra. This was hand-me-down for my sister that I'm going to take with me and um, depending on what I'm wearing when I drive to the hospital or we drive to the hospital I plan to bring my sports bra nursing bra that I have as well um, leaving the hospital or even just walking around some too I have some leggings I don't know how cold or warm it's gonna be baby is due beginning of April sometimes here in South Dakota it can be blizzarding and sometimes it can be 80 degrees so I don't know these will be either for in the hospital after birth or um, when we leave and then I did 
I'm bringing a Lulu Row dress that I found thrifted. If you've seen all my thrift hauls, you know what I'm talking about. But this is just a very long dress that will be nice to wear after baby if I need to. It was $4 at a Goodwill, so that was a perfect steal to find. And so I don't really care too much if it gets really destroyed. It's comfortable. I don't know how sore I'm going to be if I want to be like open down there or not. And I can also wear it then home if I need to. I also did bring a pair of fuzzy socks because my feet get really cold. And um, these were some I already had. And then just a pair of regular socks as well. I know the hospital gives you shoes to walk around in, I believe, or grippy socks if you want. I'm going to bring my old slippers. Um, they're already ones I've had. And then I'll probably bring my Toms to leave the hospital in. All right, a couple other things uh, for my husband. I just brought a pair of athletic shorts for him. And swimming trunks if he feels the need to get into birthing tub. And a pair or two of socks for him. And two t-shirts. And then like some underwear for him as well. Um, a couple other things for myself. More to the hygiene portion. I thought this would be good to take in the vehicle just in case my water breaks there or at least to have it you never know my friend had an in-home birth and she gave me this so i didn't pay anything for it anyways then i know the hospital gives you maxi pads um the very large ones i'm taking some of these i'm also going to take some pad sickles is what they're called so that I'll make my own DIY concoction that go in it with like witch hazel, lavender, um, aloe vera, like cooling for um, down there after you give birth. So I am gonna take a couple of these myself and I know the hospital does give some too. And then let's see, that's I think it for the clothing. Um, if I did forget something, at the, um, it's it'll be on my list because I gotta double check everything just to make sure. So I'll probably bring some showering sandals as well just to make sure I have those too. Some flip flops, but that is it for clothing. Um, I have my baggie of snacks. So my husband loves fruit snacks. I have some protein bars. I packed the pure protein and the Nature Valley protein. And then some mints in there. Um, if I need more energy, I know they said sucking on mints is good for something like that. And then on my list to grab before we go, I also have like fresh fruit, a little bit of honey, just to keep up your energy as well. So I have my little mini travel diffuser. I do plan to use essential oils a little bit. And if I'm feeling like I need calming, I'll use some lavender to put in here. Or I will. I'll have my husband do it or a nurse or something. Um, just nice to have in our room to hopefully calm me. Um, and I just think these little travel diffusers are great. I've had this on hand for quite a while. I take it to school. I take it to hotels. It's just, it's really nice to have. All right, so I'm now to my personal hygiene care that I'm bringing. Um, like I said, I'm bringing some lavender. I have a little bottle that I'm going to take it in, a dropper bottle, instead of this giant one. And then this is Clary Sage. Clary Sage cannot be used when you are pregnant, but when you are in labor and you want to speed up that labor, rub a little bit on your belly and the contractions will hurt. <laughs> That's what my friend said. So I am bringing this little bottle of Clary Sage to rub on my belly if I feel the need to have my um, contractions come on quicker and faster. I made this after birth spray. It has aloe in it, witch hazel. It's kind of what you would use to put on the pad sickles, um, the ones that you would put in the freezer, but it is supposed to be a soothing spray for down there after giving birth because you're gonna be in pain. So this I will have handy for there. I'm sure the hospital gives you something, but I want to use my own concoction. All right, toothbrushes for my husband and I. Um, we get these for Christmas all the time from my mom, so I don't even have to buy those. 
And then a bag of conditioner and shampoo for my husband, a little travel size there. And I always have travel size on hand anyways. Some body wash, some conditioner, and some shampoo for myself. So just stuff that I would normally use at home and that I had on hand with my travel size. So I'm just taking that. And then my lips get so chapped and I use Vaseline or Vaseline for that. So I have this little container. I've had this for a couple years now and it's like a fourth of the way gone. So I'll be taking this with me and I have a new big one here at home because this also um, it has cocoa butter in it. It's a petroleum jelly and it just really soothes my lips. So I put it on my lips. I've heard that when you're breathing heavy through your mouth that your lips really dry up. So I'm making sure to bring that. All right, for pain meds, I am bringing some um, Hypericum and also some Arnica. And my friend said these work really well. They're more of the natural element. So I did buy these, of course, but they will be more for also after um, and instead of using ibuprofen or Tylenol. I think this is a better idea for headaches, things like that. I have been off the beds um, since being pregnant, so um, I think these will be great to help with pain after or during labor if I could take those too. Of course, I just have a couple hair ties and a couple bobby pins. I don't really care about my hair while I'm giving birth, right? <laughs> so if it's up in a high bun, that is totally fine by me as long as it stays out of my face and is totally okay. All right. Oh, another oil I'm going to bring is peppermint. If I feel like I want like a boost of energy, this also is good to rub on sore muscles. So like when my husband's massaging my back, I might have to put that on there, um, my neck, something like that. So I'm bringing a peppermint oil. All right, coconut oil. This is gonna be used for everything. I don't really use lotion much. I use coconut oil. I've been using my belly butter if you've watched my um, trimester updates, but I use coconut oil on my face as a moisturizer. Everywhere else, it's great for um, baby's bums too to get their myconium off easier. So this is gonna be used for a lot of different things. I just have a giant container of it here at home and so I filled this little plastic container with coconut oil to take for everything, really. And then I have a deodorant packed. Um, and this one is aluminum free because I didn't want that close to um, where the baby will be breastfeeding as well. I've had this one for a while. It does not work the best, but hey, it's better than nothing and I don't want to take the one that I currently have at home. So this is the Desert Essence Tea Tree Oil Deodorant. Um, okay, a couple other things that I am bringing. We took the Bradley Method course, so I'm going to make sure to pack this book just in case my husband wants to look something up. We have some pages marked because it's a lot about the coaching portion of it. And then we'll bring my little file folder that I have to take to the hospital with insurance in it. Um, this is a last minute hospital things bag to, or hospital bag things to take. I have a couple lists so that my husband can look at that. So things like pillows and blankets, um, phone and charger, our laptop, tennis ball. The tennis ball is to rub out my back. Um, oranges and apples, honey, water bottles. I am not going to forget a water bottle because after every contraction, I am supposed to take a drink of water. That's what the Bradley Method teaches. And it is so good to stay hydrated. Um, our yoga ball. I'm going to take my own yoga ball. Uh, the hospital might have one and they might not. And I just would feel more comfortable taking my own yoga ball to um, labor on. A small cooler with uh, ice packs in it for some of the food. And um, to also keep my pad tickles in. Our diaper bag and of course our hospital bag. I just want to put that on there so I wouldn't forget it. Also, a very important thing that my husband and I did together, our birth plan or birth preferences. Not everything is going to go probably as you expect or would like it to. So I typed that up. I have two of them here and I think this is important, especially if you want to do more of a natural birth like I do, or even if you don't and you just have preferences of what you would like to take, um, how you'd like to labor, if you want to be able to get up and move around, 
So I have like during the labor delivery, post delivery, um, and stuff like that on here. So I want to make sure I have those two with me. Another thing that I am bringing are some disposable breast pads. I did not have any, um, so I did have to order those on Amazon. They should be here tomorrow. No, they should be here on Monday. <laughs> so um, they will be coming so that I can take those with me. I don't know. Some people are heavy flowers, some are not, so I don't know what I'll really need. I just want to be prepared. Anyways, I think that covers almost everything I am taking and for my personal bag. So um, yeah, I just hope this was helpful for you, especially if you're on a tighter budget and you don't want to go out and buy a ton of new things. So don't forget to subscribe if you are new and like this video. And I hope to talk with you in the next one. Bye.